The world's glaciers are melting and human activity is to blame after the Industrial Revolution. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions have raised temperatures and the poles are currently warming two to three times faster than the world average. As a result, glaciers are rapidly melting. In Europe, climate change has made water a lot more scarce. European nations rely on water extracted from surface waters like rivers and lakes. But with glaciers melting in the Alps, Europe could soon be facing a major water crisis. If you look at all of the glaciers in the Alps, then of course, you have to say that the situation is a bit different compared with the German glaciers. We have many more. We have around 3,000 glaciers still in the Alps, and there are a few very large glaciers in the Alps that will survive for a long time. But it is already the case that the majority of the glaciers in the Alps will disappear in the next 50 years. In Switzerland, at least 3,000 meters above sea level, one would expect to see ice. However, above the village of Le Diabret, there are now huge areas of bare rock. Switzerland's glaciers have lost more than half their volume in less than 100 years. A new study shows that the long hot summer this year has accelerated the melting of glaciers. The glaciers support ski resorts and attract climbers and hikers in summer, but are also essential to Europe's water supply. In the famous resort of Zermatt, climbing trails up to the Matterhorn have had to close because as the glaciers melt, the rock once held together by ice becomes unstable. Now communities across the Alps are worrying about their future. Two glaciers have split apart, revealing ground not seen before. We can see the problem up here, it's for the whole Europe or for the whole world because of the water. Not only we need the water, the whole Europe needs the water from here. The Alage Glacier is one of the largest in the Alps located in Valle in Switzerland. It covers approximately 82 square kilometers. In 1968, an aircraft crashed on the glacier and the wreckage was never found. But in August, it was uncovered after more than half a century and it was all down to climate change. However, the consequences of ice loss are far more dangerous than the damage done to local tourism or revealing long-lost wreckages. A study based in Switzerland suggests that there is a direct link between the ice loss and global warming. Ice caps are extremely vulnerable to changes in temperature. So if the earth warms, glaciers are the first to notice and respond by melting. At the speed glaciers are melting, all of Europe that is dependent on these glaciers for water will suffer. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.